and welcome to One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking today? All right, we're going to do the daily five card spread, modified. All right. Take these decks here for clarifications. Everybody to take a deep breath in. Hold it for three seconds. And let it out. Do that three times. And breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, I've already done my meditation. I'm going to invite the angels back in. This energy for guidance. Thank you for being here. Thank you for guiding us for our greatest good. Remember, I really want you to look at these cards, look at the images, see what pops out to you, pops out. We're not taking those and see what resonates. This is about your intuition just as much as it is about mine. So together we can come up with the answers. So stay open, have an open heart, have an open mind. Open up your intuition, open up your third eye, open up your chakras, and align with the universe. Okay, feeling good today, excited, learning lots, lots and lots of new things. I want to thank you all for being here with me. Okay, we're going to get your overall energy. Page of Cups. Great. Kind of up in the clouds today. You're feeling good. Let's see. I want to be able to see that. All right. Kind of in La La Land. You're in Fantasy Land. Your head's in the clouds. Get a lot of expressions coming out. You got energy here. So you got the, the hands in the shape of a heart. Uh, but you got the energy symbol inside there. It's like an atom. It's got lots of beautiful rainbow colors inside. It's almost got this little crown. You're coming into your own here. You're getting really creative. Yeah, you know, your hair is even dyed different colors. You know, pigs have wings. It's very fantasy. Um, you're kind of in the clouds here, but you're also in the ocean at the same time. Heaven and earth. You're really connected your spiritual energy and your creativity um, but you do have to be careful that you don't have your head too far in the clouds because you want to be able to see ahead of you um, you can't just manifest you have to have action as well you know manifesting is the first thing 
popped out. So how do you feel right now? What emotions are coming up? What gut feelings are you having? Lovers. Unity, oneness, feeling loved. What's surrounding you? Feeling good. Passionate. Fire. All right, it's because you have all this creativity coming out of you. Your passion's coming out. All right. Who is affecting this feeling? Who comes to mind in connection to this feeling? Who or what is affecting this feeling? Yeah. All the hard work that you're putting in. The fire. You're reaching for the fire. You're putting in the work. You're climbing the ladder. You're getting to that, that higher level. You're reaching for the stars. With determination, willpower, excitement, forcefulness. You're having fun with it though. Doesn't mean it's not hard. It just means you're enjoying the hard work to get to the top. What you need to know about the situation for your highest good. Second, I think this is actually like the third time I've gotten this card in this position in just the last few readings. Um, you know, there's things unseen. So in the what you need to know area, there are things unseen. There are emotions to deal with. Um, there's the black and the white, the opposing energies. Okay. She's drowning in it. She's also being illuminated by it, right? She can still see which way she needs to go. Down here is the bottom of the ocean. Here's the top of the ocean. It's really hard. It's really easy for you to get lost in which direction you need to go into with these um, really deep depths of the ocean, right? Where you can't see the, the top anymore, where you can't see the light coming in. But here you can. So it's um, downloads of new information. Okay, and then what is the lesson here? What am I to learn from the situation? Just have balance. You know, have a, a good balance of work and play. Reminds me of The Shining. Uh, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Yeah. A little crazy. Okay, you can get tied up in that craziness. You can become overwhelming, become scary. Just one step at a time. Climb the, the ladder of pentacles here. The balance, again, with the black and the white, bringing those energies together, having a little bit of luck on your side, just being free though, just enjoying it, kind of guide you in what direction to go. Just need to have balance. Okay, what are the actions or choices you can make right now to get the feeling you want? Two of Pentacles. 
again, balance. It's all about balance, balancing. You know, having a love relationship is a little like having, you know, balance too. You have to give and take, um, compromise things for the other person, for the greater good of the whole, right? This is just being at peace. You know, this could be like the sun and the moon, a couple different planets. Um, they're also opposing energies. But you're bringing them together, you're twirling them to make one thing, to make one pattern, to make, you know, your figure eights, your poi, your spinning poi, right? There's, there's different tricks and technique to spinning poi. There's um, an overall good energy here of uh, moving forward, just having balance, illuminating the light on the things that you need to see, all these things that you're thinking about, you know, what needs to be done first so you don't drown, you know, one step at a time, one step at a time, one twirl at a time. Okay, let's see here. What kind of questions are coming up for you right now? Based on this reading, this energy. What is your next step? in this creative department. What is your next step? How do you get to your goal? Seven of Pentacles. Just relax, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Plant your roots, grow your fruit. Um, eat well. Meditate, take out time for yourself, become spiritual, connect to your spirituality and Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Ah, I don't know if I've ever seen this before, but there's people here in the tree that are part of the roots. So that could maybe mean children, this feels like, you know, Mother Nature is just growing these children, but on trees, right? Once you put your roots down, you're growing something. So this could be literally children. It could be growing your business, doing something creative. Something's being born out of these roots, out of these branches. Right? And when you think of companies, you think of branches sometimes, you know, especially in corporate. You're branching out. You're uh, reaching out to new people with the fruits that you have here to share. Got lots of fruit here. Got a bunch in your bowl, didn't even grow in this tree. You just gathered them from somewhere else. So this is all your information that you're gathering. This is the knowledge that you already have. And you're just growing this wealth and this rebirth, connecting to new people, connecting to people that you're, you're helping to grow.
What else do we need to know about the situation? What needs to be illuminated for your highest good? Seven of Swords. So maybe pick up those swords. Unbury tr new treasure. Groundbreaking. Get the tools that you need for your journey. Gather them all up. Maybe get some help here. Get some help. And we got two sevens. Very spiritual. Very spiritually guided. Mm -hmm. What other information do we need to know about the situation? Okay. Can you explain the black and white opposing energies and things that we need to bring together? <laughs> uh, stampede. All right, bringing things together. How is there anything that's more together than a stampede? Um, you know, they really just are in union with one another. They become one entity, even though they are many. And these are unicorns. They have horns. So these are your wishes. These are all your wishes coming together to create some big rumble. Rumble. You can feel them coming. Right? That's an eight. So we went from the seven to an eight. We're moving up. We're moving forward. Towards these wishes, towards manifesting the passion, the fire, the passion, the fire. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about this page of cups. Mm -mm. Two cards here. Yep. So what you're creating right now is the Ten of Cups, family, stability, comfort, the ending of something <laughs> with the death card, the ending, right? Something has to die for something to be reborn. It's reincarnation. It's a cycle of life. Um, just like when you need to eat, right? You might be a vegetarian uh, or a vegan, but it's kind of the same thing even with uh, fruits and vegetables. They they are alive, right? They, they still have these entities and energies of being alive, even though they can't necessarily talk to us um you know like humans would talk to each other we have a different frequency but there is this um pattern of life where one needs to kill something to eat it to nourish their body in order for them to grow something needs to die for something to grow Right, and uh, you become reborn and you transform into something else. It's a really good energy. So that's what's happening here. 
<laughs> in a sense, while you're dreaming about all these different things, you know, a part of you is dying and resurrecting to become something new, to transform. To bring different gifts. Okay, timing here could be by the next full moon. All right, let's see. What else do we need to know about the situation? Pentacles. Okay, we got a lot of grapes here. We got the dove. Got lots of pentacles. She looks like she's in some sequence. She's barefoot, so she's feeling good, looking good. She's grounded. She's got her wine. She's got the fruits of her labor. She's you know got her trusty bird who you know, brings her messages. This is um, wisdom. So you're going to gain a lot of wisdom from all these creative ideas that are coming to you. What is the message this bird has for you? What is the wisdom that he carries? Oh, wow. <laughs> mm, excuse me. I got really excited. Yes, look at that bird. <laughs> Just asked, what is the message the bird has? And the bird popped up. There's an offering. It's overflowing. I want you to be very abundant emotionally, physically. Gifts are coming to you. Your cup's going to overflow. You're just going to have so much wisdom. It's just going to be easy for you. You know? It almost looks like this bird's coming down to drink the water or maybe take a bath, like a bird bath. <clears throat> right? It's plunging into the water and coming back out. That's why it's overflowing the water and spilling out because of his body mass. Jumping into the water, taking that bird bath, cleansing yourself, feeling new again. Yeah, taking a bath is so relaxing. Uh, it's renewing. You know, it, all your worries just drain away when you let the water go down, right? So you're going to have a lot of freedom here. And you're going to feel good. You're going to be nourished, you're going to be hydrated. You're going to be emotionally stable. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it looks like we're <clears throat> we pretty much got every suit here. Um, we have some wands there, swords, pentacles, we got water, we got lots of water. Let's see. The 
there a pivoting point in the timing between now and the next full moon? Five of Pentacles. Five is about change. You need to make a change. I do see, looks like a couple girlfriends hanging out. Uh, one has crutches. The other one's just walking with her. She's kind of helping her out, guiding her, reaching out her hand, saying, let's go. It's your angel saying, let's go. You might, you might have a broken leg. You might be feeling ill. You might not be able to walk. You're uh, stuck. It's harder um, to walk with these crutches, right? Something you have to learn as well. You have to go about your day doing different things that you would normally do. But you need some help too. And you're getting it. They're reaching out their hand for you. Follow them, take their hand. They will help you and guide you to the stability, to this foundation, to this abundance. Why is this lover's card here? Is there somebody coming into your life? Page of Wands, fire. It's about the fire and the passion. Messages of passion. Climbing up the ladder. Having a goal, marking it off. One step at a time, a little bit at a time. <clears throat> God didn't create earth in one day, right? Okay, so I'm going to move into I'm going to do an overreaching energy here with this tarot deck. What is the overarching energy for everything that we have laid out here, for all the information we have? <laughs> yep, work hard, put the work in. To get that beautiful coin, right? That coin just doesn't appear out of nowhere. You have to Design it, plan it, make it. <laughs> you know, sometimes you'll make mistakes. And that's how you learn. You learn by your mistakes, right? It's okay. If you accidentally banged the corner of it and dented it the wrong way, and then you reshape it. Right? Have your foundations. You got your wall here to protect you. You have your land in your home. Maybe you're out here in your shop working away. 
Maybe you're actually forging something. What is the crystal energy for today? Thank you, angels, for being here, guiding us. Black cayenne night. Set strong boundaries. Cayenne night. It looks very similar to the, what I have here, although I'm not sure if that's what that is, but mine is rainbowed. Oh, it looks very similar. I have to double check what this is. It reflects light. It reflects that negativity back, right? With rainbow color. So instead of just reflecting it, it also sends out positivity. Um, setting strong boundaries. Yeah, for sure. That's that balance. You need to have that balance. Do one more of these. Azurite. Get laser focused. That's a beautiful stone. Yeah. Laser focused. I mean, fire, laser, right? <laughs> Forging. Right? Laser focused. there's a lot of things that we need to learn here in order to do this it's not just one thing right wouldn't it be easy if it was just one thing right maybe not as satisfying though um every time i post a new video i learn something new uh, several new things in fact uh, every time i go to look something up i realize there's other things that i need to be looking into Right? So it's kind of that, that can of worms just uh, to pop out when you open it. Clarity. Let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Absolutely. Right. <clears throat> Especially when matters are unclear. You know, unclear. Mm -hmm. Divine timing. The divine brings things in the timing we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. Yes. We did talk about by the next moon. Also, okay, one more compassion. As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born. Oh, what was I just saying? <laughs> right, right here. A new self is born off these branches of your roots. All right. Drawing new people and experiences. Drawing new people from those branches. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Okay. What other messages do you have for us today in this beautiful energy? I welcome and expect magic, miracles, wizards, and source into my life. Beautiful. Many illusions within this world have you taught that you are realistic if you doubt magic. Miracles, wizards, and source. 
But the truth is, you are realistic only if you expect magic, miracles, wizards, and swords. And what you expect, you shall have in abundance. It's time to give that wand a twirl. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Yeah, there's that wand right there. Give it a twirl. Baton. Throw it up in the air. Spin it around. Right? Spin it around. Okay, I'm going to do the Soul Star Chakra, merging with the divine. Absolutely. <clears throat> merging with the divine. This is very much this energy here. All right, a little bit of this. Isn't love divine? <clears throat> Stars about wish granted, your soul's wish. It's beautiful. Sacral chakra, core of creation. Absolutely. <clears throat> That's what this whole reading is about, right? The creation. That's happening. All these ideas, right? The creation, the hard work that you're putting in. Okay, so we're going to do these randos. Mm. So these are actually relationship cards, and we're going to do the random category. Sometimes they have questions, it makes you go a little bit deeper. <clears throat> what does your five-year plan look like? Oh, wow. So this is funny, right? So I'm star studying tarot with uh, Mary Jo at Soulful Revolution. And this is the thing she keeps saying. There is no more five-year plan, right? And building building this new thing that you're creating. There is no more five-year plan. It's in the moment. Right? When you go to an interview and somebody asks you what's your five-year plan, you're ever-changing. I mean, it's good to have plans. But things can change in a moment, right? You always have that choice. You always have a, a new choice. You have two choices, three choices. Sometimes you have more than that. But you always have a choice. What do you hate most about the way I drive? Hmm. Like I said, these are not tarot cards. These are just random relationship cards. <laughs> so... You know, um, we're not really driving anywhere here. I mean, we are kind of driving this herd, right? What do you hate about the process? <laughs> like, I just want to do tarot, but now I got to learn how to do video editing, right? The drive. The drive is also the passion, right? I don't know why you would hate that passion. It does get a little overwhelming sometimes, right? A little too much in your head. You're driving all over the road, right? You're not focused on just that one destination, right? Because it is about the journey, not the destination, right? Mm 
One more. What's something you thought when we first met and you no longer believe to be true? Mm -hmm. Well, that one's a tricky one. <clears throat> like I said, these are about relationships. Um, you know, and who did you meet? This is, are we talking about source? Right? A lot of people think that you know, I don't really know how many. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lot, but a lot. Um, there are people out there who don't believe in the power of tarot. Um, maybe some of them think that uh, it has to do with dark work, right? It's not. It's, this is light work. So maybe you've changed your mind. Maybe something has resonated with you so much that you have changed your mind about it. And you can see the synchronicities and the signs. Something that you never saw before. But now you realize that they have a lot of power. Right? Maybe you didn't believe in yourself when it comes to doing the work. Maybe you didn't think you were good enough. But it's no longer a belief that you have. You're coming in your power. Mm -hmm. You got this passion. This love, it's driving you, right? It's driving you. Driving you mad, driving you crazy. But in a good way. All right, and just for fun, we're gonna pull an element. All right, I'm gonna pull this. All right, 77, 77, and spiritual, spiritual, double, double seven, it means it's a little extra. All right, it's that much more powerful. That's your spirituality. <clears throat> Iridium, and these, uh, this is used for making compasses cubicles and pens right <clears throat> interesting it's got this fireball right because we're we're talking about fire and passion right coming in hot coming in hot Woo! yeah see it's just flying around <clears throat> okay and um it's encompasses, right? So which direction do you want to go in? Cubicles means work. You know, like you're in an office. You have a cubicle. I mean, technically this is kind of like my cubicle. This is my home office. And of course you have pens, journal. You have pens in an office, journal, help you navigate. Okay, and I'm going to do one of these crystals here. Crystal Wisdom. Yeah, it's Crystal Wisdom. Close my eyes because you can see two sides of the cards. <clears throat> Emetrine. Intuition. Heck yeah. This is all about your intuition here. Everything. Right? Your hopes, your dreams, your goals, your creativity, your hard work. It's coming from your intuition. This is the message. I am fully aligned with my intuition. I trust this powerful wisdom to guide me. Mm 
Hmm. The rainbow colors kind of goes back to this rainbow colors that we have here. All right. The rainbow in the hands. Your intuition. All right. <clears throat> and I like to use all of my decks. I can't. I can't help myself because they all have different messages. And they're just so much fun. And I want you to get a lot of information out of this as we can. Uh, some of these are super random. They're not even tarot or oracle cards. Okay, Soul Cage. Rescue, escape from ca captivity and restriction. Okay. Save yourself. Open up your creativity. So you don't die, right? <laughs> so you don't drown. Adrift. Letting go. Allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. I use the letting go spray right before this reading. Allowing the higher force to take charge for a time. Surrendering, said surrendering to source. Right? They got your back. You gotta put in the hard work, but they, they got your back. They're helping you out. Okay, this is the Halloween Oracle. What other information do we need to know about the situation? Barm Brack. Oh, it's a bread. Okay, I've heard this before. I don't know that I've ever had it. Sweetness and Synergy. All right? This is sweet. Enjoy your bread. Break bread. All right? Nourishment. It looks like these jack lanterns are, are hungry too, right? Like this one really looks like it wants to eat this bread. This one is like right behind him. Like, yeah, that, that looks good. Yeah, so other people might be jealous of your light, of your sweetness, of your synergy, what you have to offer. They want to gobble you up. All I have to do is sit here pretty. Don't worry about it. Look at you. Delicious. This beautiful tin. Don't like it. Don't let other people take your power. Ooh. Jack o' lantern protection. Mm -hmm. Right? Protection. Protect yourself. What did I just say. All right. Skull of light illumination. It's back to the moon. Right. Illuminate the light. Your knowledge, the things that you've been learning, you're projecting that out into the world. This is very beautiful energy. All right. Well, I think we have exhausted the the message here. So you're coming into light. You are being really creative. You're creating something new. You're coming into union. Your knowledge is overflowing. Just have some balance. 
and when studying these new things <clears throat> with your work and your play, you know, take breaks because you can overwhelm yourself and you can drown yourself pretty easily uh, if you're not paying attention to the balance. So um, this is very beautiful. You have beautiful things coming to you. To you. You're working hard for it <clears throat> and you will have the gift right they're gonna give you the gift because you put in that work right. All right. thank you for being with me here at one who seeks my name is Tara I'm your intuitive reader and I will see you next time Love you.